pilot flies an aircraft, manipulating controls that are linked to devices which are called control services. The wing produces upwards facing lift as it flies through horizontally facing air. So for a set airspeed, how can the wing generate more lift? You can split a section of the wing into a separate surface like this. Hinged and able to move up and down, one such surface is called an aileron. As the aileron moves down, the wing's camber is increased. This results in further reduced static air pressure above the wing and combined with extra deflection of the airflow underneath, the outcome is more lift. Conversely, the lift is reduced when the aileron moves up. Another example is the rudder, which works in similar fashion to an aileron as it moves left or right. With each movement, it essentially produces side-facing lift force due to increased camber and deflected airflow. The ailerons function in opposition. As one moves up, the other moves down. The pilot uses the control column to operate the ailerons by turning it right or left. The primary effect is a roll about the aircraft's centre of gravity. The pilot uses rudder pedals to operate the rudder. Pressing the left pedal moves the rudder left, and the primary effect is a yaw to the left. The right rudder yaws the aircraft to the right. The aircraft model in this demonstration is fitted with a stabilator, which is a one-piece design of an elevator. The pilot uses the control column to operate this control surface by pushing it forward or pulling it back. As the stabilator moves up or down, it deflects the relative airflow and causes the aircraft to pitch up or down about its centre of gravity. Finally, there is power. The pilot controls the aircraft's power by the throttle control. For example, more power generated by the propulsion system produces the obvious primary effect of more airspeed.